tell me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. All right, Shalom, 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 Shalom. The King is coming. Hello. Greetings, greetings. Each and every one of y'all like for you. Let's start off the show, the broadcast rather than this. Um, glad everybody's here. Those of you in the chat room as well, and um, I like for you all to uh, give us a sound check. Let us know how you doing. How you doing, Teach? Doing quite well. Doing week. quite well. Busy week. <laughs> That's been a busy week. I'm uh, quite pooped. As usual. Well, I, I think that's the way it should be, though. Um, but all he's doing is off his work and all his running around, man. Sure, there's a whole lot more peace just on the land. <laughs> a lot more peace. If you know what I mean. Uh, there's just a lot of things that just has to be done. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. A lot of things got to be done. Uh, we are in the land of the living. And we send greetings to all of Israel. Male and female. Um, i like to, first of all, say all praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Um, in the name of of the only begotten Son, the precious Son, Yahshua HaMashiach, yes. Jesus Christ. None like Him. And um, I'd like to thank all of you who have been called and chosen to be in the Beloved. Uh, we are a special people to the Most High Yah, and I can only pray that we as a special people set apart and committed to him, that we can walk worthy of the vocation wherewith we have been called. Uh, we thank him for the blood that never loses its power. Amen. We thank him for the patriarchs who have gone on before us, paved the way. We thank him for the prophets we thank you for the law and the apostles. We thank you for allowing us to be clothed and in our right mind. What a beautiful day. Um, it said that the volume is a bit low. It's a bit low, Teach. Uh, everybody has got a, a volume that's a bit low. What happened over there? All right, so how we doing right now then? Y'all give us a radio check, all right? Can you see? All right. Yeah. Um, you just popped off. Hi, loud and clear. Better, 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 better. Let me look and see where we at. Okay, I see that. All right. Um. It's a joy to be in the land of the living, and it's um, a pleasure uh, to be able to know many of you as our brothers and sisters on this side of glory. Isn't it wonderful? I mean, what a family we have. Though. We literally truly have a family. What other ministry do you know that you can travel from one state to another yes. and have a place to lay your head? I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, eat a good hot meal to come from the saints. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Um, oh, definitely. 
And myself and my family, we've uh, uh, stayed at Straightway Cleveland down over Brett Crago, written song, you remember some two dynamite Israelites. Amen. You know, teachers, I started to think about this more than anything. There's just a different spirit with the people who are serious minded. Oh, yes. You notice that? Oh, yeah. You notice? And, um, I mean, you manage um, up there, and you could tell. Uh, I'm sure you dealt with lazy employees. Lazy. Yes. Ghosting, Casper. Yes. You know, job is excuse making. Yes, sir. Had to reprimand them, ride them up, dog, have them out of And I tell you, that's a, just a difference. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do thank each and every last one of you uh, for your offerings, your letters of support. We've been actually on point with getting our letters back out. Um, I put out a lot of videos on Patreon. A lot of videos, a lot of good teaching, educational videos for us that are true Israel. Uh, we got a few things we definitely need to talk about. I received 30 cents. PayPal. Hey, bless you. Um, we can only pray as the, you know, the ministry is straightway that, um, that the Most High will continue to keep giving us utterance and that we can walk worthy and be accounted worthy. Uh, we think many of you are helping our plight in this life become a whole lot easier so that we can actually do a lot more things um, that real ministries should be able to do. Yes. Um, you know, when I travel around these other communities and stuff, there's a lot going on. A lot of busy work going on. Hallelujah. I thank each and every last one of you that's given by way of PayPal. Um, I see that we got Monkey Bastard in the house. Thank you for your super chat offering there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faithful. Hallelujah. Brother Eric, faithful. Amen. We, um, Brother Steve and I, uh, been going over the 2022 feast day calendar. Yes. I love that calendar, man. I, watch, I look at that calendar a lot. I think I look at the calendar a lot because, you know, presentation is big. Mm -hmm. And if I said it once, I said it a thousand times. I don't think there's going to be. I don't know of another better calendar out there in the whole world, to tell you the truth. I just don't. And I'm not saying that because, I mean, but Brother Steve is a, he's a damn good well master mm -hmm. too, man. He's really good. He's really good. Bro, Steve, while we're here, um, I noticed on the front page you have, um, um, I don't know if it's the splash page or whatever on the website, it's got them pictures of all those sisters up there. Well, uh, many of those sisters have since, um, have gone from that picture. So we need to find another picture update. If you want to, uh, I can send you a picture, um, of the brothers on the security team. You may have it already. If you pull, you may have pulled it off Patreon. Um, maybe we put that up there, but we need to update that. We need to update that. Um, my um, subscribers on YouTube have been on a rampage lately. Um, I went from 170 to 172, just like that. I wonder what reins they don't loosen because I still have a strike on my account until the 26th of this month. Mm. Now, well. and, um, you know what I mean? South Valley community guidelines. Now everybody out there is talking about COVID. So I guess everybody is now in violation of community guidelines then, right? You know, they, um, who ever thought we would be living in communist states of America? I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger says, 
uh, to hell with your freedom of speech. A lot of people are <coughs> the council culture is counseling the terminator. Huh? C Shields says, uh, let me put these peeves on here for a second, all right? Says, I'm blessed by y'all able to learn and support straightway ministry. Look forward to the day when I can join you all in fellowship in person. Thank you, Pastor and Elders, and everyone behind the scenes. Yeah, that's true. Now, I'm glad you do say that because um, it's, it's, uh, I have a, a team of people um, that works with me from behind the scenes that help make sure that the accomplishment of the ministry, mm -hmm. saving of souls. Yes. You know, that's what it's all, this thing is all about, saving souls. And, um, but at the same time, I want people to understand something. Uh, that anytime you come to Straightway or whatever it is, we're not trying to win you. We are not trying to convert you in any way, shape, fashion, or form. I don't care one bit if you come or if you don't come. I don't care one bit if you are part of ministry, if you decide to become part of ministry or not. I can't control what only the Most High Yah can do. I mean, that's so true. I can only preach. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's get this thing right again. A lot of people, they think that we need them or y'all need them. Mm -hmm. He don't. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't need none of us. He called us for a mission. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't need me to get his mission accomplished. He can, he can y'all should have said I, he's able to raise up from these stones. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm just happy to be in the elect. Yes. I'm happy oh, to be yes. called and chosen. Oh, yes. And I'm not going to squander my only chance at life. Life, yes. By being arrogant and think that the Most High Y'all needs me. Mm -hmm. Man, you, what kind of sick mind is that? Y'all don't need you. Israel don't need you. He's looking for people who's willing mm -hmm. and obedient. He, he's looking for people of a... Willful spirit, yes. obedient spirit. And we have so many faithful Israelites. I'm sure that I speak for all the faithful Israelites. If you're not faithful with us in this walk, we don't need you. We can do more with less than we can with a lot. Yes. That's not what this ministry is about. This ministry is not about amassing numbers and getting all the people. Joel Osteen got us beat on that. Oh, yeah. No, we're about getting quality people. I love don't you love seeing the same saints feast after feast, mm -hmm. month after month, year after year? Mm -hmm. It's like a family reunion. Family reunion. And boy, I love those saints. Mm -hmm. But if you think straightway is trying to gain you, you out of your damn mind. <laughs> this ain't Christianity. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you come or not. If y'all ain't dealing with you, what can I do? What can you do? Nothing. Do me a favor. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> we want True. saints, not ain'ts. Glory to the king. Yes. Now, if you're going to be part of us, you're going to be transformed. You're going to be some special kind of person yes. for the most high. And all the old heads, they know what I'm saying. They know what I'm talking about. But um, we're here to do the mission of Yah. Only the Most High can add you to the assembly. Get Acts chapter 2, teach. Start at, at verse 40. Only the Most High, Yah. He and he alone is the only one that can add you to the assembly. Either we're part of the assembly or we're not. Uh, we know that we are. Thank the Father for it. Amen. 
love all my family and all the communities, home fellowships, different places. But I know one thing. I know that I noticed that many of you have found out that when I get up at these feasts and I start speaking, I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. No. No. Don't y'all think that I'm all together like many of you? No. Just saying words. A lot of times I'm at this this these feast days and I begin to preach and teach and talk. I'm under the unction of the ruach. Um, and, and I'm speaking what the most high tells us to, and look what happened. Oh, yes. Then the most high say he's getting ready to cut off a lot of people. Mm. What happened? Same came to pass. Yeah, he started cutting off a lot. I mean, and, and, and it's so shocking too to see that the majority of people he cut off is people who've been in ministry for a while. I got some of you that are living in sin and massaging yourself in sin. And you think we're going to let you be a spot in our feast of charity. We ain't playing games. You may be playing games, but we ain't playing games. I got people right now calling me, asking me, can they come to the feast? And they've been running dirty ever since Passover. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh, it's, it's gall, all right. Yeah. You, you got that right. It, it is gall. <laughs> Ain't even had enough time to even... Now, teach, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't mind being correct. I really truly don't, but correct me if I'm wrong. When Yahshua says, bring forth fruits that meet repentance. He didn't say that, right? Now, the Messiah often used agriculture. And by the way, we're like 30-something days before tabernacles. And um, if you ain't got your name on the board, you ain't called in and put your name down, I'm telling you, once we hit that magic, well, I don't even know if I can use that word. Let me think of another word. Once we hit... Yeah, that, that, that 800 number, we closing up the gates. Mm -hmm. We closing them up because we got your names written down. And don't come to the feast without being invited and without a garment. But I got a bunch of things going here. I got yeah. Acts chapter 2 verse 40 and then yeah. I got well, Yahshua fruits of meat for repentance, right? Now, most people don't understand or comprehend or overstand Hebraic culture. Because you pretty much almost have to be farmers yes. to get what he's saying. When he's saying bring forth fruits, watch this. We have fruit trees on this land. We have fruit, fruit bushes. How long does it take for fruit to mature? I mean, after all, when he says bring forth fruit, mm -hmm. that meet yes. repentance. In other words, present something. Yes. Used to be in the old covenant, that's what they call it. You had a sin offering. You had a trespass offering, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yes. To show that you're very serious. You people been so duped about Christianity. All you want to do is just say, I'm sorry, and repent. And, and I ain't seen nothing that meets repentance. And I haven't even saw you and your walk to determine if your walk meets the fruits of repentance. Yes. Am I making any sense? I don't know what type of repentance you think people doing. I know that we have a residue of Christianity on us and they just tell us we can say a few words and like hocus pocus and it's gone. Mm -hmm. That ain't the way that the book... I think that, you know, more than anything, people really truly need an understanding. If you are a person of means and well-to-do, if you sin, 
you had to bring a bull or bullock yes. to the priest to atone for sins. It's one thing for you to say the words, but you had to bring something. Who told us that that stopped? The whole sole purpose of that is so that if you understand that when you trespass or you have an ascend, when you have sinned, and you got to actually give of your substance, maybe that'll help you think a little bit about sinning the next time. Yeah, the conscience is uh, touched in. Man, you y'all got these welfare repentance. Thank y'all all over all y'all on PayPal for giving your offering. Claudia Miller says, "Thank you, Pastor, for all you do. All praises to the Most High. Y'all bless you." But you understand what I mean? And if you were, if you don't have much means, you had to bring the turtle dove. You had any way go. Don't come. <laughs> Empty. Yeah. Don't don't you dare come before the priest empty-handed. Who changed that today? True. Who changed that today? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> if you went out and violated a woman, mm -hmm. and you took her virginity against the father's will. You had a trespass offering. You had to. Get, you yeah. just didn't get off scot free. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't. No. And then it was still up to the father to determine if you were going to get his daughter or not. Before you go to accept the two, verse forty. Go to Matthew five seventeen. I, I don't know where this mindset of you people come from. You see. The reason why most of you are loose cannons out there is because you ain't got no teeth in the game. Listen, at straight weight, we require a just recompense of reward. We require fruit. Not only your life better line up with it, but you better dig deep into some of your substance. Because you know why? We want you to feel the pain of transgression. Forget all this, this dang, I'm sorry, I won't never do it again. Okay, good. We're going to make sure you don't never do it again. Bring me 200 ounces of silver. We'll make sure you don't do it again. And see, that's the problem. The reason why people are so loose when it comes to sin today. Oh, yeah. Because there ain't nothing required but just a bunch of abstract words. Yeah. Are you people hearing me? Passive. Are y'all folks listening to me now? We're trying to get you to the kingdom mm -hmm. the right way. And, we, and it takes us to remove the residue of all this religion off of, off your minds and conscience today. You just don't get it. You don't understand. Matthew 5, 17, teach. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So who told you that all this that I'm speaking about, which is coming directly from the law, yeah. is done away with? Y'all should, should say, don't you even think that I come to destroy the law? Why was Jesus observing the money changers in the temple if that wasn't something to pay? Uh, Not only did they have offerings, yeah. but again, you had sin offerings, yes. you had trespass offerings. Yes. I mean, yeah. see, today, this world has relaxed you to where you ain't serious. You just ain't serious. You don't, you don't really truly get how serious that this walk in this way is. You don't get it. Yahshua said, don't you even think that he come to destroy the law or what? Or the prophets. Do not Moses write this? Yeah. Read on. I am not come to destroy. He didn't come to destroy, but what did he come to do? But to fulfill. See, that's the reason why a lot of people can't handle straightway. Because we have an ecclesiastical court set up. Elder Rufus, you know what I'm talking about. We got some people asked to come to the feast right now. Did a, and, and, and the wife, the wife created a great trespass. A great trespass. 
She ain't been before our council. Neither one of them. Neither one of them. That's the reason why I still ain't gave an answer yet. Because I'm meditating on this. You people got to understand. When we have the Feast of Tabernacles, do y'all know what that means? That means that we are at the wedding. Yes. That means we're there to have a good time. Yes. That means our garments have been changed from these old rags to spotless white. Come on. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Oh, yeah. And we at this feast yes. having a good old time. Yes. Because everybody has white robes on. Yes. Everybody's been purified. We have the marriage supper of the Lamb. Yeah. And you want to come in with your damn sin stained ass garments and mess up our feet. See, y'all don't see. See, I'm serious about this. Yeah. I'm serious about this. I don't understand how anybody can't be serious about this. I mean. Especially, if I could understand if you didn't receive any preachings, any teachings, any. And lifestyle examples yes. coming from straightway. You have no wiggle room. We're invited into the kingdom. Yes. Harvest time. Are your garments spotless? Are they and white as snow? Them. Are you washed in the no. blood of no. the no. lamb? Don't <laughs> give me that stuff. Don't even give me that, that stuff. I don't even want to hear it. You people ain't serious minded enough. You're too Come cardinal on. minded. You, you, you focus on earthly things. Yes. You focus on things that are beneath. And, and you, you, you focus on conduct that is unbecoming of an Israelite that has been sanctified, purified, set apart. Yahshua did not die in vain. No. Or, of all things, he gave the most. <laughs> am I am I finished reading Matthew five seventeen? Did not am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Oh, you didn't come to destroy. I know you didn't, Yahshua. Come on. I have not come to destroy. But what? But to full. Now, yeah, hey, if you want people to be hypocritical and want to toy around with your soul salvation, there are plenty of religions, yeah. plenty of, of philosophies, plenty of ways. I mean, there, there are plenty of people that want to felice you and toy around with you. We ain't it. Y'all forget about how Straightway started. We were up here tucked into a valley. I know we're in the valley because we're between two mountains. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> yes. Topographically, if you're going to read it, they will call this a depression. Yes. And we were minding our own business. Uh-huh. I'll tell you where I thought the community was going to go. I thought we was going to have this generation, then the next generation, and then after that, whoever had it last, mm -hmm. hope that they could pass it to somebody. Well, we was all going to be buried up in the cemetery and it was going to be done. Yes. And we was hoping that Yahshua would come before the end. Oh, yes. We live Jeez. by faith every day yes. believing that Yahshua was coming. Yes. Then the Most High Yah told me to make myself known. Mind you, I used to garden every day. Yes. I used to build every day, cut grass, weed, eat. Empty trash, going wood oh, runs, yes. living a life. Yes. And I still even traveled around, ministered. Yes, we did. Did healings, deliverance, yes. preaching, teaching. I've been on AM, FM radio stations, international shortwave radio stations. I have been um, on, my voice has been heard all across this earth. Now we on the internet. Because ain't nobody listening to radio no more. We thought literally that's going to be it, but then the Most High Yah, then he screamed and hollered at me in my spirit. I ain't going to have that no more. Amen. I'm not going to have it in my, when he said, I said, yes. 
Make yourself not. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll call make myself known. I'll just post a few little 10 minute videos on YouTube and leave it alone. I'm gone back to work out here. You got to understand, man. It was probably like Jonah. The whole world was Nineveh. I didn't give a damn. <laughs> the hell with y'all. We saving ourselves. We good. Amen. Say you going to destroy Nineveh. I was good with it. Go ahead on. We good. As long as we saving ourselves, we are good. That was my mindset. Boy, he changed that real fast. Oh, yeah. Man, he changed that real fast. Because we were saving ourselves, no doubt about it. And because we have obeyed his voice, Yah is giving you the ears to hear us. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Acts chapter 2, verse 4. Do you finish Matthew 5, 17? Go to Acts chapter 2, verse start at verse 40. We'll read 42. And with many other words did he testify and exhort. What did he say? Say, save yourselves. Save yourselves. From this untoward generation. That's what we were doing. Mind you, I said all that, but even even at that, I was still on shortwave radio, mm -hmm. and I was still on AM FM station. Just yes, that none sir. of you was on those stations to hear. Yes. You better thank the Father that I thank the Father. He calls me to be obedient, and I fear and tremble as His yeah. presence and His word, because it has made some 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 dynamite disciples for the Messiah. Hallelujah. Dynamite Hallelujah. disciples. Glory to the King, all praises to the Most High all Yah. All praises, yes, definitely. Read on. Then they that gladly ho, ho. receive. See, that's what we're missing today. Is that people, they really truly don't gladly receive the word. Mm. How you go gladly receive the word when you sitting there, got a face like a junkyard dog? Come on. When you are heavy and you know you're living in sin, you can't be glad to receive the word. Yeah. And by the way, if y'all don't mind, can y'all hit that like button, please? I got 559 people in this chat room right now. And and, and very few people. I should have had 559 likes right now. Oh. What, what's the problem, people? Be proactive. Help us out here. Be living. Right? Be because like. what, that, what that one little like right there, it could cause... That little avatar to be over on the right side of YouTube. Say what's so. And y'all could, <laughs> just on. like he did with some of y'all. Yes. We heard your testimony. You mind your own business. All of a sudden, you look over and you see this guy. What is that? And what is that? And next thing you click on it, bam, that was the end of your life. Come on. Boy, y'all messed you up, didn't he? Uh -huh. Man, did he mess you up good. Got you in the net. <laughs> so did, got you. From the net. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Got you, nosy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank y'all for salvation. Hallelujah. Thank y'all for salvation. I'm glad you got ears to hear, Israel. Read on. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. So there was an action. Yes. Man, I was so happy. I looked um, today, teach, and I saw... Brother Brandon and Brother Michael. Brother Micah. Micah. Man, they done picked that mantle up in South Carolina. They running with it. Good, good. Good to see Jamario. Yes. Um, got a brand new family in the ministry down there. I mean. I mean, they, they look so beautiful. They were all walking to the water. I mean. To go baptize this, 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 this brother in the faith, man. One family left. One family left, <laughs> and y'all put another one in. Woo! <laughs> and y'all, I'm telling you, y'all mean, I mean, straightway South Carolina boy, they they show repentant, and they said, man, we ain't fooling around with this mess. He took away uh, that low down 
dog of an elder. I ain't forgot now. I ain't forgot. I'm getting ready to give out the address of what we got that um, place that we built and stuff so I can get everybody to go by there and recon. See what's going on. All that blood, sweat, and tears, resources, time, energy, effort. Sacrifice. Sacrifice of our time, energy, yes. and effort. Our, and it's the things we get. See, straightway can be trusted. Yes. Can you be trusted? Because we done took away everybody's excuse. But Brandon is doing a, a good job. And boy, Brandon and Shalea, man, man, they make some good, y'all keep making good songs. Yes. What y'all need to do is, is when y'all write some of these songs, y'all need to send it on up here to Brother Allen so we can get on it and then be ready for y'all when y'all come up here. Victor A, hey, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. There are a few people like yourself who jump through that screen to save at least one soul. Yep. Um, we're doing a good work. We can't come down. And um, I'm, I'm proud of what I see. And I'm glad that y'all didn't choose man over Yah. Unlike his mother did, poor soul. See, them soul ties are bad, man. Man. You mean tell me that, let me see. You saw your son come to me, the man of Yah. Mm -hmm. This man, by the power that Yah invested in him, cured your son. All praise to the Most High Yah. Thank oh, you, Jesus, yes. of asthma that he was born with. Yes. As he ended up going along and stuff, start not having no accountability. Wouldn't show up to feast, be like an elder like he's supposed to. We start checking. I told y'all. See, most people think I'm speaking on assignment. When I tell y'all that I'm getting ready to get some elders. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's everybody else. It's everybody else. It, you know what I mean? It ain't. Ah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We ain't playing. We don't take no bribes. And we don't grade and judge on no curves. By the way, Ranger went up to um, Straightway, Kentucky uh, with Elder Mitch and them and, and, and spent a couple of days training them. Mm -hmm. I got some good video. Ranger fast as shit too, man. Accurate too. He's fast, man. He's fast on that damn pistol and that damn rifle. He's good. He really is good. He's good. Don't let that go to your head. <laughs> but he's good, though. I want to let y'all know, and I'm glad that he made a safe return back home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank y'all for the cash app offerings. Um, let's go ahead, teacher. We got to get on. And the same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So... Yahshua is the one who did the drawing. Yes. And 3,000 souls was there that day. Read on. They received his word. And they. Uh, anyway, Range, I've been trying to find out, man, how that, that, that detox stuff I gave you is working. Read on. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in baking, breaking of bread, and in prayers. What? Watch this one. From what? Read on. And fear came upon every soul, and many signs, many wonders, and signs were done by the apostles. Mm -hmm. And all that believed were together. Come on. And had all things common. Mm -hmm. Sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men as every man had need. Come on. 
And they continuing daily with one accord Read on. in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. From church to church. House to house. From Methodist to Baptist. House to house. Baptist to Baptist. House to house. Seventh-day Adventist to Catholics. House to house. Worldwide Church of God to... House to house. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and what the straightway, basically the whole entire ministry is all about? House to house. House to house. Be a community. <laughs> home fellowships. Different homes. That's what the ministry is all about. It's, it's just doing it God's way. Awesome, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For some of you, money. Money. For some of you, your will. Whatever you value is what you hold on to. Mm -hmm. Some of you hold on to that will. Um, thank you for your super chat. Straightway has been a blessing since I began this walk. Sister Jordan, Sister Ashley have been very inspirational to me. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Glory to the King. Some of you coming in brand new to this, this walk, I expect to see y'all at the feast days. Now, if you're brand new, first time, I'm going to listen to this. I want y'all to listen to me very closely. If, the, if you're coming to Feast of Tabernacles and this is your first time coming to the feast. Now, we're usually here for like eight days, sometimes ten days. It's like that's a lot. But if you can only make it um, for that Sabbath, for your first rodeo and stuff, we got grace and mercy for you. Because um, Tabernacles starts that fifth, uh, that uh, third day, Tuesday. But if you can come uh, be on the land with the tenth, the fourth, and the fifth, you can kick Tracy's six and still keep the Tabernacles at your place. Uh, we'll make those concessions for you brand new here on five Israelites. But you need to come and get the experience of power. Yes. Most of you, you ain't never met or seen the kind of power that the Most High, Yah, and all praises to his name, thank you, Jesus, displays through us, an agricultural country people. Mm -hmm. Most people love getting on here, bumping their gums. Talking about straightway, but they pale in comparison when it comes to sacrifice, love, and power. Pale in comparison. Power is our confirmation that the Most High Yah is with us. Yes. And we love the Father, what He's doing. I mean. I'm, um, I'm going to be in Portland, Oregon. It's coming up next week, man. I'm going to be there doing some ministry. Portland, Oregon. Boy, that's across the world. You think, man, that's another communist state. Another antichrist state. But that's exactly what I'm going to be at. Portland, Oregon. Hallelujah. Um, myself, Elder Rufus, Elder Mitch, Brother Yasha, and Brother Kabir. We're going to be at Portland, Oregon, speaking to a large assembly out there that wants to hear directly from straightway. They have been waiting on me for at least two years mm -hmm. to get out there. Of course, you know, then COVID hit. But they've been waiting on me two years to come. And we went ahead and we made it. We're going to make it. We're going to be there, be the Father's will. I was trying to read that message, Elder. You deleted it before I could get it. I didn't say you being a damn burden. What I'm trying to, anyway, 
I'm just trying to figure out what the hell to do with some of you lackadaisical ass people who ain't serious minded. Y'all got to understand that here at Straightway, we take this walk extremely serious. You may have never taken anything serious before in your life. We're serious about this. Then we um we have um Trump is coming up on the night of the seventh. Oh hallelujah. And then we have Day of Atonement, sixteenth. Yeah, it's coming up fast, man. This year's is done went by fast. <laughs> wow. Thank y'all for your cash app. Thank y'all for your PayPal, and thank y'all for all your offerings that y'all have given to support uh, this ministry. And, and thank each and every last one of you who has sent my mail. Oh, by the way, the uh, PO box isn't that amazing? Got a cash app, Salome and Blessing Shepherd and Teacher. Praise y'all for another week. Could you give any spiritual understanding on Leviticus 24, 2 and 4, if there's any, glory to the king. And then daughter of Mosiah, Yah says $100. Uh, well, anyway, she gives a super chat offering as well. Well, hold that. We'll go there real quick, okay? Um, but I wanted to, it, it's crazy, okay? Y'all know that the mailing address is 632, Highway 52 Bypass West, right? I want y'all to listen. If you're listening, please type in the word listen. And if you're new here, please hit the like button. Yeah, Oregon PDX. Yep. That's what we're coming in at. Please hit the like button. What do you say, Leviticus 24? 24, yes. One through four. I think he said two through four. Two through Um, they have, they're, they're moving and they're moving across the street. So if you're sending letters, um, to 632, Highway 52 bypass West, and you're sending them in either in the name of Pastor Dow or Straightway Truth Ministry. If you're sending checks or money orders, please make them out to Straightway Truth Ministry. Is that, is that simple? No. The way we spell it right here. But the new address, instead of 632, is going to be 641. Everything else remains the same. 641 Highway 52 Bypass West, number 7. Everything else remains the same. So it's going from 632 to 641 and sister window that means you got with that dynamic voice you've got that means you have to uh, make another promo code for us or another promo i don't even know if i got that right or not if many of you've been tuning in i'm sure that y'all have paid attention to all the videos i've been putting out on youtube as well as um patreon been a lot of videos, a lot of videos teaching. A lot happening in this world. It's not this Joe Biden impotent. When I say Joe Biden, I'm not only talking here because Joe Biden ain't got no sense to do anything. He's got handlers. He's got people behind him that's ruling this country. You can tell these people, they don't know what the hell they doing. Hello, Pastor Dow. First thing. For the most, first and foremost, God bless you. Bless you. Please forgive the little off topic. Just want to know, how do you like upgrades you got on your ZX-10? Chris Moore is really great. Chris did my flash on my 
GX R750. Oh, it ain't no big deal. We can get off on that for a minute. We still good. Um, I mean, I love the upgrades. I mean, I'm the one that I picked them. I bought them and picked them. Um, but the biggest and the greatest upgrade that you could get on a motorcycle is not the damn stock suspension. It's getting an aftermarket suspension because that's the best upgrade you could do on a motorcycle is the suspension. Oh yeah, I got the ECU to do, but that's that's just later. I can right now what I need is a suspension because um, uh, there's no way in hell right now the way that it is I can't ride that like my 2004 Honda CBR. I can run circles around it with that old Honda than I can this thing because it. Come on, man, it's suspension all over the place, man, and you. You ain't got no confidence going in the curb. I mean, I tighten that thing up just as much as I could, and it's still, man, it's like a damn pillow. Yeah. yeah. So it's suspension. The other stuff is just, um, it, it, it really does help and stuff, but like, y'all understand. As a matter of fact, I need to answer this other question too real quick. Somebody asked me, how fast have I ever gone on a motorcycle? I think the fastest I've ever gone on a motorcycle is 171. I think that's the fastest. That's pretty damn fast, too. You know what? Mm -mm. No, somewhere I can't get 171. It ain't long enough. Mm -hmm. I did that on, on out a little bit. That was a big old long straight. Um, I think the most I ever did on Galen was 165. And mind you, to make sure... That, that is accurate. I got a speedo healer on my bike. And that means, because, uh, you know, sports bikes begin to spin real fast. And it, and it gives a false reading when you get up to over 120. Mm -hmm. But mine is straight up accurate. And um, so that's the fastest I've ever done. I think on a racetrack, I think one time down in Nashville, Super Speedway, I got up to um, 175, I think. But. I think I glanced down for a second, but I really wasn't paying attention because you ain't worried about how fast you're going. You're worried about keeping that bike planted. You got that right. Ain't nobody care about how fast you're going when you're going that fast. And then, uh, But everybody thinks straight line is really nothing, really nothing to a straight line. It's those curves. It's that knee dragging. That is the test of manhood. That's where that fear factor comes in. Now, when you, of course, you knee drag all the time. It's just part of it, you know what I mean? Well, also, I want people to understand and know that Pastor Dow is, I'm just not your fly-by-night, everyday, bang-through-the-gears motorcycle ride. I have my race license. As a matter of fact, I went to two race schools. A disciplined rider. Yeah, I'm a very disciplined rider. I'm a, a, I'm a, I'm not a professional. But I'm a hell, of, a hell of a lot above a regular street line rider. I promise you that. That I promise you. I got up to a, a advance in Nesba. Northeast Sports Bike Association. And of course my little number was 42. Anyway, uh, that's enough of that. But um. So it's going to be 641 Highway 52 Bypass West PMB or let's say number 7. But I will tell you this. You know the way that some of you live your life loose. You ain't sober. You don't care if you make mistakes or not. You can't do that on that motorcycle. Not at that speed you can't. Oh, no. Hell no you can't. So I know what the hell I do. I promise I do. I've had brothers come to the ministry. Oh, yeah, Pastor, I ride motorcycles. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm really good. Oh, okay, yeah, I believe you, brother. And they just look at me as if I'm mocking them. But I'm not mocking them. I just say, I believe you, brother. I just say, you ever seen a video? I posted a video on YouTube a long time ago. Oh, no, they look at that video. I, they, well, I don't ride like that. No, I, 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 don't, I don't ride like that. And they go, uh, 
yeah, you right. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yep. But yeah, Chris Moore, man, pretty, pretty, pretty nice guy. Pretty nice guy, man. Went down there, got a little, let them do a few little things. I'm waiting on that. There's another guy I found out that's got an ECU flash for the ZX-10, but he's way up in Massachusetts. I ain't going all the way up there. I ain't going all the way up there. Uh -huh. Yeah, plus, yeah, I weigh 230. And what that means is I lose a horsepower for every seven pounds. I lose one horsepower for every seven pounds. So you people out there, 135 out there, you little jockeys. Um, I'm at a big loss when it comes to that weight. But I don't do it for that anyway. Um, actually, how I got that bike is because I was helping another brother in the ministry. Um, and he was wanting to get out of debt. And he had a Yamaha R1. And we just bought it from him. And since I'm not a Yamaha fan, I just went and traded, put a few few thousand with it, and we good to go. Yes. Good to go. But anyway, back on it right here. What, what we we gotta deal with uh, Leviticus twenty four two three four. Go go ahead and let's let's start at the first verse so we can get it in context though, okay? Let's hit that real quick. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, What are you saying? Command the children of Israel that that they bring unto thee pure olive oil beaten for the light. Uh huh. To cause the lamps to burn continually. Well, that's pretty simple right there so far. Because if you got oil that has any impurities in it, it's going to go out. Yeah. It's going to go out. Come on. Without the veil of the testimony uh -huh. in the tabernacle of the congregation, shall Aaron order it from the evening until the morning before Yahweh continually. Mm -hmm. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. Yeah. He shall order the lamps upon the pure candlestick before Yah continually. Well, you gotta understand that the priesthood has been discontinued when it says generation, talking about those generations at the time. And more than anything, it's talking about the menorah. It's talking about keeping it because that is what uh, lit the tabernacle. And that's why it had to be pure oil. It couldn't have no impurities with it. And it was commanded that that menorah would at that time be lit the whole entire time, unless they were moving from one location to the next. That's all that is, man. Yes. Um, that's all it that is. And even in this time, you should not let the, the oil in your lamps somebody, go out. Yeah. Somebody says, Brother Polite, I have five wives. I had some foolishness, Brother Samuel deleted. Hey, I don't, I don't give a damn. You got ten, as long as you're doing your duty. Mm -hmm. Huh? There are people out there, monogamy claim they got one, but they done had six, seven of them. Yes. Don't give me this BS. <laughs> Man, you people something else. But, I, hey, um, we're not going to be before y'all long tonight. I can tell you that right now. Um, I want to make sure that I don't forget anything. But you need to call the number behind me right here and get your name down on the list because we're already at 500 and something. I'll get the numbers from Sister Vicky. We're already at 500 and something um, for the Feast of Tabernacles. And I'm telling you, once we hit that eight, we're closing it. Um, sure be nice if you could be here. But we're closing it. We are shutting the door. Let me get one of y'all to uh, bring a gross in here. But I just love our family. You know what? You got to open them in. I just love our family. I do. Tell you what we do. We'll open up the phone line. Yeah, you can put something there in here. We'll open up the phone line here. The guest calling number is, uh, I still think it's 310. 
982-4226. Uh, we'll give y'all a chance to get in there real quick. 310-982-4226. Why does the sisters, the sisters broadcast have a different calling number? If you like to, uh, if you like to, um, uh, is it? Well, anyway, if you like to be able to talk to Pastor Dow, what you need to do is you need a call-in number. You're going to hear a woman's voice. You push number one because she may or may not tell you. That puts up a shield that lets me know that you're in a caller queue. You're not there listening, but you actually want to come on live. And we will entertain your question for a moment. Let me see. Bro, Patrick had a son. Uh, who else had a son? Baby's been born so much nowadays. People Don't get upset if I don't mention who all have babies now because... Y'all Israelites, man. Yeah, we're in the season now. Boy, I feel like I'm back in the military again. I turn my look around, man. These women are running around. Huh? Yeah, brother Ron had a son. Every time I turn around, man, these women are running around these big old bumps. You think we done been to war, been to deployment and stuff. You, you know, you can guarantee when you come back. From deployment, boy, you're a bitter amount of military base, man. Man, everybody's pregnant. Everybody's having babies. Oh, I'm a big fan of T.T. Island, man. I have every single year back, oh, I know, yeah. 15 years. Easy. Oh, yeah. Love T.T. Island, man. Um, having all these little warriors. These little warriors. Look like you and his car getting along just fine. Oh, yeah. He just ain't looking at you now. He ain't laughing at you. <laughs> he, he used to just look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, so the summer just told me that the current count that we have right now for the Feast of Tabernacles, we're already at 700. Man, you, oh boy, you better set your fares in order now. Yes. You better set your fares. People ain't playing around. You ain't got a tentative cutoff date, do you? Yeah. I don't have a tentative cutoff date just yet. I usually cut off about maybe 10 days before. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If we reach out, ain't on we'll be probably. And sometime, yeah. depending on if I if I look and see how, how we got everything going, sometime I may extend it and stretch it to eight fifty. Cause we had eight sixty, right? Passover. I know it was either Passover or Tabernacles. We had like eight hundred sixty something people here. Yeah. And um, that's a long time to have eight hundred sixty people with you for ten days. Well, we have a wonderful time. We have training. Um, Frogman and Gideon, I think they're coming up. There's a lot of men that want to be on the security team, but there's a lot of people that were on the security team is getting ready to get off the security team because you have a competence test that you have to pass and you have a physical test that you have to pass. And if you can't pass neither one of them, you probably, you're probably not going to be on the security team. Uh, Cause you just never know when stuff go down, man. Yeah. Cause if you get back there on that range, and you're gonna be on the security team, I promise you that Gideon, Ranger, and Frogman, they gonna put some serious stress on your ass. And most of y'all ain't used to being hollering, screamed at, and then having gunfire going on at the same time. Good evening, man of y'all. Quick question: Do you believe? There will be an exodus of God's chosen people here in America. All the old prophets' books suggest there will be that prophecy is to come. Well, 
people don't understand, it's not an exodus just in one geographical location. When the Most High does this exodus, he's going to take us from all, what he say, we were scattered to the four corners of the earth. Yes. Isn't that what he said? Oh, yes. And he just ain't going to just be exiting us just from America. No. And when you say America, are you talking about the United States of America? Are you talking about Canada? Or are you talking about Mexico? It's all North America. Yeah. South America. It's still America. So, yeah. you know, you got to be a little bit more um, detailed. I have a disadvantage using technology. I hope it doesn't take away from message meant to send. Do we use the same? Yeah. 3025. Sure do. Same number. But I'm just telling y'all. Uh, mess around, and and I'm, I, a lot of people come. Man, how many people is y'all heal during these feasts? Wow. Oh, they pouring in the questions now on the super chat. Let me get one more here. <laughs> Jeez, let me take this phone down now. Let me read this. Shoot. All right. What tribe do you think the northern groups came from? Germanic tribes, Norse, Scots, different than other white Europeans. And their languages sounds harsh as it evolved from Hebrew. Also stopped Rome's advance, JC. You can tell that some people ain't been listening to us long. Let me put it like this. Didn't the Most High y'all said he was going to gather his elect from the four winds of the earth and it was going to be gathered out of every tongue. Yes. How many tongues is that? Every tribe. How many tribes is that? Love and every creed. How many creeds are there? I tell you, man. Some of you people... I think the problem is that they've been eating off other tables and, and have been influenced by so many other False teachings. Yeah, hey, did anybody know if, if, if Malachi Mac and Cheese repented and got away from that? The, the little God, Yaki. Yaki said he was God. He's divine. He's divine. And he's the I am and the most I told y'all I'm going to get that spirit. Can't nobody make these spirit manifest like Pastor Dow can, okay, man. Woo wee. And notice I keep telling y'all, he got an answer for everything. No means it's the right answer, but he got an answer for everything. I hope he still hadn't choked yet on this debate. Let's get in here for a second. Texas, Brother Van, 713, 713. Now, usually what I do is I call your area code. After 713, I'm going to 930, and then I'm going to 812. The area code is letting you know in your geographical location. When I call out your area code, that means you're up next. Don't listen to us on the computer. Yes. Get on your phone, go walk outside or go walk to the next room so we don't have to hear your feedback because you may say something that somebody want to hear. You may ask a question. Somebody wants to say. So please comply with that so that you don't be oppressive to the listeners. Brother Van, Texas 713. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight With You radio broadcast. I can help you. Brother Van, come on. Yeah. I'm here, Pastor. Hey, bless you, Pastor. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Bless you, my brother. How you doing? I'm doing well, sir. Doing very well. Thank you. And yourself, I hope you and Brother Shane are saying y'all doing well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in the land of living, so we're doing well. Come on. What you got? Yes, sir. I don't know, man. I just wanted to, I just wanted to uh, call in and let you know, man. We still, uh, you know, got our name on the list of Tabernacle. We're just uh, trying to get some stuff together. You know, for our first time coming there, but just, you know, gathering all our stuff and doing like a little checklist, man. <laughs> just being well, ready. Yeah, I mean, the, the more than anything, what you need is a good, reliable tent. Um, yes, sir. It, it will probably help out if you, you know, at least on your back. How old are you? 
I'm 40 years old. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Probably would help if you had a, a cot. Now, you're a good, thick mattress, you know, sleeping pad. Mm -hmm. A dude with a sleeping bag. But if you had a cot and you had a nice sleeping bag, you know, an Arctic sleeping bag, or, well, it's not, to tell you the truth, it's, Tabernox is early this year. It's not going to be as cold. But it still gets chilly at night. And get some, yes, if you want to, man, if you choose to, I, I tell you, man, a lifesaver is a good wool blanket. You could probably get on Amazon or eBay or something like that, get you an old army wool blanket or any wool blanket like that. I'm just trying to help out a little bit. You may want to bring a pea bucket so that you don't have to leave your tent yes, and get some camper clean. Yes, sir. You can go to Walmart, get some camper cam or some of them um, outdoor shops. Camper cam is a chemical. You may just take it and just do like that and put some water in it, about like that, so the smell of, of um, discharge is, is not reeking in your tent. It keeps it keeps it down. You never even know. But you won't put enough water in it because if you don't, it's going it's gonna, to, the, the, the gases from the chemicals, man, they can singe the hair off your rear end. So you make sure you don't put enough water in it. And, um, and that way you can get up at night in your tent and you can just pee to your heart content. Now, if you don't, you can just simply walk to one of the outhouses that we have or the shower houses, which would probably be a little ways away, but, you know, it, it's, it's a whole lot better to be able to pee in a bucket. And uh, you can even get one of them fancy lids that's shaped like a toilet. And um, if you had to do number two, and then we have, um, you know, the outhouses that you could discharge this stuff in, make sure it's clean and stuff. And... Um, that and if uh, you want to, out here, these people, man, these people, are something else. They bring grills. They bring tomahawk steaks, and sometimes they don't even eat in the dining hall, man. They bring strong drink, and they be sitting out at they tents, these little camps. They got little camp areas, man, and they just be living it up, don't they? Brother Vernon. I'm gonna mention his name. He down in Straightway, Georgia. Brother Vernon, boy, he 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 got he, he actually paid for his experience. There was so much food that these saints was grilling and cooking. Cause you know the book says, you know what I mean? Bring 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 me strong drink, whatever your soul desires. Brother Vernon went around from tent to tent, man, where he was grilling up, man. He ate so much steak and so much food, man, he got sick. And I'm glad he got sick. Teach him a lesson. Yeah. But, um, and then you may want to have a flashlight, you know, to walk around at night and stuff like that, or walk around in your tent. Um, we have facilities for showers and stuff, so you better stay clean. Um, Oh, yeah. Well, other than that, we're pretty good, right? Yes, sir. So if you, you bring yes, your thing, you should hey, be Pastor. good. What else you got? Oh, no, no. If you don't mind, man, Pastor, my, my, both of my, my children, both of my son and my daughter, they would love to tell you hello if that's okay. Brother, that's the whole purpose of coming. Uh, I'm When y'all come here, man, I love, man, children love me. I love meeting and talking with children, um, okay. man, I'm, I'm not no, I'm not no, I'm not no movie star. I'm a pastor. Okay. Well, the most I, yeah, you know what I mean. I eat what the people yeah, that's eat. Than a movie star. Well, I eat what the people eat, and I sleep in a tent just like everybody else does. Do I not? Yes, sir. I stay up and play music and have a good time with the with the people, just like I mean. I'm just a different pastor, man. Uh, I, I do what the people do. I'm right there. Yes, sir. All right, here it is. A pastor right here. My son's going to go first. My son's name is Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Ready? Go ahead. Talk to him. Hi, Pastor Dow. How are you doing, Andrew? He says, how are you doing? How you, how you doing, Pastor? Oh, no, he asked you, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Shabbat Shalom, Andrew. He's a wise man. A man, a few words, huh? Yeah. Awesome. All right, here's my daughter, Les uh, daughter Leslie. Here you go. Hey, Leslie. Pastor. Hi, Leslie. 
How are you doing? Hey. Hallelujah. That's good to hear. I'll be glad to meet y'all when y'all come up. All right. Bless y'all. Love y'all. All right. Bless you, Pastor. I appreciate it, but for uh, taking the phone call. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Suffer not the little children. Remember, Jermaine sent a text. Such is the kingdom of Yah. Yes, sir. What did he say? He said, Brother Laurel, Straywell Ohio, had a baby boy. Oh. Another boy, the seasons of boys, huh? Yeah. Guess you gotta July have some. 29th. Well, I guess you gotta have some boys to keep up with all these little girls that's been born. I mean, the sons gotta have somebody to marry. Yes. <laughs> Even in this ministry, we notice that little girls are born at a pace of three to one to boys. Brother Terrence, Texas. Call number 903-903, Pastor Dow, in the Straight Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you, Brother Terrence, there in Texas? Yes, sir. Hey, bless you to you, Shepherd. You hear me? I got you, man. Oh, bless you, Shepherd. Bless you, teacher. Hope y'all all doing well. Um, I wasn't going to call in until, uh, until you off the phone line, but I wanted to give a testimony of what the... Uh, the mercy of the Most High and the healing that He did for me about a month ago. Let's hear. It. And uh, one question. If you can. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, first off, blessings to Pastor Corey as well because uh, it was on that um, that sermon that he did on patience, and he went around doing the healing. Um, the following week, uh, on that fifth day, I got something. My spirit told me to prepare myself for healing. So um, I didn't know exactly what because myself, I not really sick or anything, um, no no real health problems all my life. So I, I was kind of skeptical of what it was. Um, so the next week I told the brothers in Dallas uh, in the assembly, bless y'all, uh, about what was said. And uh, the Sisters and Sister broadcast I listened to, um, when Sister Ashley mentioned something about um, this sister had, a, I don't know if it was a father or grandfather that was in the war, and spoke about, so she started talking about DNA. My chest began to hurt. Um, all I know, I don't know my my fa my grandfather on my dad's side. I never met him. I, all I know that he was in the army, and uh, he he died when he was like eighty something. I never met him. Um, so I prayed, fasted uh, the week, and I came the next week and to Shabbat, and I started talking to my brother Jonathan about it. And my chest started hurting again when I started. It was my heart. I started hurting again when um, I started talking about this DNA uh, stuff again and all about all these chemicals that possibly. And so my brother, uh, my brothers, they all joined together. We all joined together and just uh, prayed to Most High, and it turned into a healing. Um, I got delivered. I don't know exactly what it was from, but it came out as a thick mucus with a slight bit of blood in it. And um, I can say... A week uh, during the next week, the devil tried to come and say I wasn't healed or did anything. Nothing happened. He even tried to bring back those certain chest pains throughout the week, but I just held fast to the word of Yah uh, and saying that, you know, the devil is going to try to come back, but we need to rebuke it. And ever since, it's been like about a month, and I have not had those pains in my chest anymore. I have not had those, that burning sensation in my heart, heart anymore whenever I speak about any of this stuff as far as this DNA. And I just wanted to thank the Most High truly for showing mercy upon me because I did absolutely nothing to deserve this. Didn't even know it was wrong, wrong with me. And I bless y'all for it. Well, sounds like you got a good deliverance there. Um, people don't understand that there are generational yes. curses and stuff, which, you know, we probably one of the few ministries left yes. that even talk about this. I probably, probably less than, I can't even name five ministries on the, in the United States of America, you can talk about that anymore. I think we're the last ones, man. Um, matter of fact, I, yes, I think we I all think the last ones. Yeah. But hey, man, I'm glad you got some deliverance there, brother. I say glory to the king. I thank him. I try to thank him every day. I even, uh, any time you get brought to my mind, I try to thank him every time. Um, 
And if you had one time uh, for a question on Isaiah 66, if you had time. Yeah, what you got, man? Where we going? Isaiah 66. Uh, I think I believe it's verses one through four, one through five. Uh, when I was reading it, and I was trying to understand, uh, it speaks about the Yah demanding worship, and he speaks uh, in verse two. You know, he speaks about the uh, person that he desires, the one that fears word, and uh, it's humble. And then he goes into speaking about these certain sacrifices, but that they turn into something else. And I was trying to get an understanding as far as. Um, what exactly changed that he's trying to what he's trying to get across to us from uh, from the prophet Isaiah in those five four, you know what five I just did a video I can't remember if I put it on Patreon or YouTube I put it on either Patreon or YouTube where I actually spoke about something in reference to this you need to go check those videos out okay no. I just did this I just yes, uploaded I it uh, either today or yesterday On the, the five Patreon videos, I haven't been able to watch them yet because of uh, this new phone I got. Oh, okay. Um, I, I will. Look at them. Yeah, because this is going to take me a long time to answer, but I've already answered this on Patreon. It's amazing that this comes up. But I did answer it. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, I don't even know. Yes, sir. Thank you, then. Wait a minute. Is it on YouTube that I did? Um, was it on Patreon or YouTube I did? I did a message on forgiveness. Let me look real quick, okay? All right, my brother. Yes, sir. I'm gonna look real quick. All right, I think it was on YouTube, and I did when I talked about that. I talked about, um, yeah. Let me check it out real quick. Hmm. I did the judge not. Oh yeah, it's on Patreon. Forgiveness three. It's on Patreon. Forgiveness the different kinds. That's probably what it's it's in. And um, yeah, it's on Patreon, yes, man. I did an extensive teaching on that. Okay, yes, sir. I would take a look at that. All right, my brother. Hey, good hearing from you, my brother. Bless you, brother Terrence. Yes, sir. Bless you, teacher. Bless you, pastor. Yeah, I wouldn't see y'all at heaven now. All right, bless you, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, everybody, I love this chat thing because everybody said, yep, it was on Patreon, pastor. Good word. Well, yeah, the other way. Okay, let me see. I had uh, JC, same one that wrote that question. He says, uh, thanks for the answer, Pastor Dow. Glad y'all guided me away from false teachings that were being spoke to me a few years ago. A mixed multitude. Oh, you can tell where they come. They come from them damn sorry-ass camps. Yeah. Them damn hollering and screaming-ass camps and powerless. Carnal-ass camps. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so we was there. Uh, let's go to 812 Indiana. 812 Indiana, 812 Indiana. This is Pastor Dow, you know, Sherbet Shooter Radio Broadcast. Hey, how can I help y'all there in Indiana? Let me, man, I'm too comfortable in here. Well, hello? Yeah, hello? Hell, yeah, hell is low. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. All right, I, I just had a simple question. I've seen a couple of your videos, and I'm from Learning Beliefs, and I just w really wanted to know about Leviticus 19, verse 27. What's your name, brother? This is Steve. Steve from Learning Beliefs. Hmm, I'll tell you what. Have you ever heard of um, Teacher Eric? No, sir. Okay. If you go to my YouTube page, all right, and you type in Teacher Eric, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Teacher Eric Listen. Robson. Teacher Eric Robson has an extensive uh, video teaching on this. And rounding like the King James does, rounding the corners of the edge is not what you think that it is when you use natural reasoning. Uh, you've got to look behind the words that are presented to you in English. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm referring you to that because 
You know, how many times do we give people answers and it still ain't acceptable enough? Yeah, true. And so what I do is, I, if you notice tonight, what have I been doing? Guiding people to teachings yes. and videos because you need to get the understanding. And Teacher Eric has already done spoke on this very extensive. We've done it many times over the years. So if you will go there and type in, type in Teacher Eric Robertson and go through his videos archives there, you will see some uh, uh, an extensive teaching on this, and he does a damn good job. And the reason why I refer you to him because he's a teacher and he does a damn good job of teaching that, my brother. All right. Well, uh, should we, you know, saying restrain from from all all the appearances of evil, or you know, saying anything against you know, saying y'all's word. I mean, especially as like a pastor, I'm that's that's the only thing that's like holding me back from actually like going full throttle. You know, saying listening in, like I. I understand people's opinion. The word says it right there. I don't understand. Even in Hebrew, it's pretty much the same thing. I think Could that you, you need a to do. Information? I, I think that you need to do exactly what I told you to do. All right, I I will do that, and I I will begin back with you. All right, I I'll be waiting on you. All right. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. That's very respectful, isn't it? That's very respectful. Let's go to Michigan. Call number 313-313-313 there in Michigan. I think we all, what, ever since Afghanistan done popped off with the Taliban, I guess COVID disappeared, huh? You know, the Biden administration is trying their best to try to fuse COVID back into the conversation. Cause that's the only thing keep his damn ratings up. Yeah. But this damn debacle over there with the Taliban, boy, ooh, boy, man, that video I did today, you should see how many veterans turn around and said, "Shit, I wish they would put that together." I'll go. It's just a total different mindset, you know what I mean? Them veterans, some of them, a couple of people say, "I'm not no veteran, but I damn sure will go." All you gotta do is tell me what to do. Yeah. And um, government is just in the damn way, and, and then Biden. I keep, listen, Biden is a figurehead. He ain't running this country. It's the buffoons that's behind him. Yes. <laughs> we use him because they use him as the figurehead out in front. Money is the king. Yeah. Why would I tell you if I own the SKS? That's nonsensical. I mean, you see a few weapons back here, but that don't mean you know everything I got. And why would I display everything I have anyway? I mean, but if whatever I have on display, believe me, I know what I'm doing. But you don't need to know everything. No. 313 Michigan, Pastor Dow, you know, straight with you, radio broadcast. I can help you. Hello, Pastor Dow. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can help you. Oh, my, my, name, my name is Sister Kenya. Sister Kenya. How are you this evening? Shabbat Shalom, yes. Doing well. Shabbat Shalom. How old are you, Sister Kenya? I'm I'm good, and but I'm I was I'm I'm so surprised I got through to tell you the truth. I called the number on the back, and I, and one of the sisters gave me the right number, and she was so beautiful with her spirit on the phone. So I'm glad she gave me the right number. I mean, um, um what what number did you call? I saw the number on on the straightway sign behind you. I probably didn't listen properly and called that number. Ooh, boy, we got to work on that then, don't we? Well, but I got the right number now. Yes, Pastor, we do. Yes. Well, yeah, you do got the right number because here we are. <laughs> yes. What you yes. got? Um, Pastor, Pastor I, you know, I've only been in the truth, you know, like maybe two and a half years, something like that. Not very long. And I was wondering, um, I've watched you from the beginning. I don't know how the Lord led me to you and just, a, you know, a couple other um, people, and that's how I was introduced. But anyhow, I had a question. I was wondering, um, I'm 48. You are 40? You're 48? 48, yes. Okay. And I'm, you know, clearly, you know, probably, you know, past the years of childbearing age and I don't have any children. I was wondering, um, because of my past, you know, I wish I had been brought up in the truth, 
Uh, but because of my past, you know, my life before that, I've not had children. I was wondering if you had any scriptures or advice or, um, you know, a, what type of service a woman could be who regrets that. Wait a minute, I, I didn't... Say that, re, re, say that one more time. Well, okay. Well, I haven't had children. You haven't had children. Okay, we we that far. Go ahead. Yes, yes. And at this age, you know, probably will not. But due to you know um, the way I was brought up and my past history and before coming into the truth, you know, I missed out on that. You know, I'm, I'm, I messed up and missed out. <laughs> so I was wondering if you had any, you know, just uh, advice or, or scripture or like how, you know, um, to deal with that. How to do what? How to deal with that now, you know, that that's not an opportunity. That now that that's a missed opportunity. Okay. So let me get a little bit of clarity here. What what type of missed opportunity are you talking about? Definitely, you can't have any children. Are you talking about marriage? Are you talking about relationship? What are you speaking about? Not not no not marriage or like I know I have opportunity for that, but um, is there something that perhaps I could focus on? Should I maybe try to help other mothers to you know? Should I just wait on the another realm? You know. Um, and, mm -hmm. and, and be secure, you know, maybe think that if I, uh, repent and, and stay in the commandments that I'll have children in another, you know, when the king comes back or, you know, what, what would you just advise about that? Uh, I don't know too much about your past. That's for sure. Um, and not asking, I'm not asking either. Um, the best that you could do right now. And the place that you're in is if you're serious about the Most High Yah, is to make sure you take your marriage to Him serious. And in that, you make sure you become a good servant in the kingdom. Is that making sense? Yes, it does. I you have to understand. There was even even myself, I'm I'm pastored out, right? And that's Teacher Shane over here. We don't differ nothing from servants. I don't care what title, position, whatever. We're still servants. Um, and if you're going to be great in the kingdom, you got to learn how to be least. Okay. Is that making sense? That makes sense. And I'll, and I'll pray on it even in addition to that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, focus on being the best servant to the kingdom that you can be. Um, and don't be looking for this little utopia about children and another life and all this other stuff. Focus on the here and now. You can't sit up there and cry with spilt milk if you're really truly repentant and stuff. We need to go forward where we at in the beauty of holiness. And you don't need to thank have you, thank you for any past regrets. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. We need more than anything in the kingdom. We need some prayer warriors. Yes, sir. We really truly need that. Because ain't enough of y'all's people praying like they used to. And we need some good people to serve. I mean, people just don't get it. They think that the people who are out front, the people who are seen, and people, I don't know for whatever it is, I don't know why people lust for that or they after that, but man, I, I've always asked anybody, they'll tell you all these years, I'm waiting to get to the point in the ministry to where I'm no longer needed. And when I'm no longer needed, you ain't gonna hear nothing else about Pastor Cow. I guarantee you that. Well, we need to now. 
Jesus. Well, hallelujah. Thank but you, but you be encouraged, okay? Stay encouraged, yes. Hallelujah. All right. Anything else, my sister? I appreciate it. No, that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Shabbat shalom. Kentucky. 859-859-859. Boy, this body's breaking down, Teach. This body's really breaking down. It, it lets you know it's temporal. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you better believe it. It's definitely letting me know it's very temporal. Yes. My God. Matter of fact, I did a video called My God, Afghanistan. <laughs> Jesus. Kentucky 859, Pastor Dow, you know, Survey True Radio Broadcast. I can help you there. Kentucky. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Dow. Shabbat Shalom. Can you hear me well? I can hear you loud and clear. My name is Sister Heidi. I'm from Northern Kentucky, and I recently started fellowshipping with Brother Jermaine and the Saints of Ohio. Okay. How's it uh, working out for you? Oh, it's beautiful. It's so amazing. It's um, so much more than what I expected. Okay. So how are you doing, Sister Heidi? I'm doing amazing. I wanted to just call in to thank you. Thank you. I bless you. I honor you. Uh, I'm so grateful that I have a shepherd to lead me in the truth. And um, sorry if you hear crackling in my voice. That's I'm okay. extremely new to the faith. Um, I started listening to you in January. Um, uh, Sister Ashley, Mother Jennifer. Um, I started listening to them in uh, January also. And then February 2nd of this year, I felt my conviction. I started racking my hair. I started um, changing my wardrobe to be more modest. Um, I actually changed jobs because the job that I was working was full of idolatry. Um, I will be homeschooling my children. Um, I've gotten, I just want to tell you a short history of just, it won't be long, but basically all the strong women in my life had passed, have passed on. And I am the oldest living woman in my family with a good head on my shoulder. Um, and now I'm moving forward um, in the truth, living righteous. And to have you, to have Sister Ashley, Mother Jennifer, Teacher Eric, Teacher Shane, Brother Jermaine, Sister Cameo, um, Bridget, you know, these are just the, the ones that I've met immediately, but I've made connections with sisters around the world, Sister AI. Um, it's just a beautiful, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but last week you had said that, you know, all of your life, um, you just know you're different. You just know. And I'm just incredibly grateful that y'all led me to you. Um, and, you know, I had lost all of those women, but I have gained, and I prayed and I cried out to y'all to please somehow, some way, send women into my life so that I can be with women again. And... There's so I uh, I don't know how to explain it, but now I'm I'm flooded with greatness, if I can say it like that. Flooded um, with greatness. My trip. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Well, you see, teacher, ain't no wrong with that. Either. Come on, we listen. Um, I want to tell you know that this year, me and my children will be at the Feast of Tabernacles for the whole week. Um, it'll be our first time on the land. All right, so you make sure you hold Brother Jermaine and McCallum. Make sure that you got everything you need and you're taken care of, okay? Oh, yes, sir. Plus, I've been, excuse me if I can say this, I've also been um, slowly but surely getting everything. Like, I got a couple of tents. I have my cots. I have our air mattress, a heater, a fan, toilet, bags. Um, oh, you ready. <laughs> she ready. Sir, uh, we're going, um, man. Nothing, nothing plucked me away from the hands of y'all, and I'm pastor. Um, I'm so excited. I have two sons. My oldest son is Elijah. He's 15. 
My youngest son is Isaac. He's 11. And what also I want to say is that it's so beautiful that I've always taught my children we're spiritual and not religious. We've always prayed to God and not the people who just say, oh, I'm going to pray. We stop what we're doing and pray immediately. But now it's different. We, we pray different. We still, you know, say the same thing, but we open up our arms like a fountain so that we can receive a blessing and we don't cross our, we don't close our hands and fold them anymore. I don't know if that makes a difference, but for me, that's how I explain to my children, like, you have to hold your hands high and praise him to receive the blessing like a funnel. I mean, and yeah, I mean. My um, children don't have, I apologize. No, go ahead, sister. We're listening. My children do not have any prior um, Christianity or Catholic background, so I don't have to re reteach them. It's just myself. Like it's easy to do what's right, but not knowing what's right. So that's my that's where I'm at right now is learning um, my balance and to move correctly. Well, hallelujah. Well, we're looking forward to meeting you and your children. Okay. Yes, sir. Anything Thank else? You. I appreciate your time. No, that's it. I appreciate your time. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Sister Adi. Bless you. Shabbat shalom. Bless you, Pastor Dow. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Oh, yeah. By the way, you that are down there in the Dallas, Texas area, Dallas, Texas area, Pastor Corey, and Sister Gabby, I spoke with Pastor today. Um, he's planning on being down there in your area sometime soon. He's got to get a few things together. And Pastor Corey, Sister Gabby, I believe, um, but he'll he'll make sure he fine tunes all that. Pastor Corey, be down there to visit y'all down there in Dallas. So y'all make sure y'all. Receive the man of y'all because y'all will definitely get a blessing from it. Hallelujah. Um, so we'll keep you posted best as we can to let you know when Pastor Corey and Sister Gabby and them are going to be there. Uh, there's a lot of people there in Dallas now. A lot of people. There's a lot of people in Dallas ever since Elder Mitch and um, Brother Greg Exodus out of Houston. There's a lot of people in Dallas now. Brother Perez and Brother Gale and them, they're doing a damn good job holding it down. They got a big congregation down there. So it's good that Pastor Corey is able to make it his way down there. And I appreciate it very much so. Because um, the ministry, uh, I'm not a thin man, but boy, we stretch thin and we teach. <laughs> How much you weigh now anyway? I ain't weigh. Because you a hell of a lot taller than me. You, what are you, 6'2", 6'3"? 6'4", last time I checked. You 6'4"? 6'3", 6'4". 6'4", I think you a tall man. But um, but I tell you, man, it's good that Pastor Cora and, and Sister Gabby probably they're gonna be down there in Dallas, and so y'all make sure y'all ready to receive the man of y'all, because you're definitely gonna get a blessing um from the man of y'all and his family coming down there. Y'all make sure y'all take care of them. And the most high y'all through the power of the Holy Spirit and the Ruach will take care of you. I promise you that. Hallelujah. You want to get that out there. Uh, where we at? Let's go to New Jersey. Last call of the night. I think it may be. Look like one more. 201. Been a long time since we did calls, Teach. Yeah, what do you been think? A it's been a while. Yes, it has. Long time. Some people say, I didn't even know you had that capability. Oh, we got a capability to call. I mean, we've always had it, right? Yes. Well, you just don't fool with a lot of nonsense. Elder, Elder Rufus said, damn troll city tonight, boy. Dang. Well, the devil has got to come out and always try to hinder the work, even though he can't hinder it. Um, oh, yeah, there's a lion's den tonight. There's a, definitely a lion's oh, den tonight. Yeah. Remember to type in Daniel Muir, M-U-I-R, Daniel Muir, M-U-I-R, Straightway Goshen. Facebook and YouTube. Facebook simulcasting. Mm -hmm. Facebook and YouTube. You know, it's crazy. My, um, 
And Shaz asked me, he says, we notice your voice is getting kind of raspy there. You know, what's going on with your voice? I said, uh, it's called getting old. It's called having to do a lot of hollering and screaming. Especially when I was in the military. Yes. A lot of cadence calling military. And it's called a lot of doing a lot of speaking. <laughs> and what happens whenever you wear out something so much, as much as I have to speak. Mm -hmm. You know it's amazing. When I um met my youngest Shia's family, you know you know what the first you know what they said about me? Can you believe this? You ready to hear this? They said, he don't talk much. You can't, you can't believe that. I told them they're right. They, most people, when they hear me, they either watch a Shabbat service or a YouTube video. You know what I mean? But other than that, I really, truly don't talk much. I don't have a need to talk much. But because I'm a preacher, a teacher, um... I have to talk. I have to teach. You understand what I mean? Not that I want to because I'm pretty much a quiet man. I mean, I just, you probably wouldn't even recognize I'm in the room if you ever spent some time around. You know what I mean? I don't do all that talking like everybody is. There are a lot of people, they want to be, they want to talk all the damn time. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm mostly listening. I mostly exercise the art of hearing so that when I do say something, it carries a lot of weight. It's like Rob Mathis, man. Rob, he don't say much, but when he does say something, man, it's heavy. It's heavy duty. All right. Boy, we did New Jersey, right? Did we do New Jersey? No. 201 New Jersey. Sister Kimberly. Pastor Dow, you know, straight with you, the radio broadcast. I can help you. Shalom, Pastor Dow. This is Sister Kimberly from Straightway, Clarksville, Northeast. Bless you. Straightway, Clarksville, Northeast. You'll be down here tomorrow then, won't you? Yes, sir. Man, y'all up this late at night? Woo-wee! It ain't that late, huh? <laughs> How you doing, sister? <laughs> I'm good. Bless you, Pastor. I was just calling um, to share a testimony. Let's hear it. We always want to hear testimonies. Well, with the permission of my husband, of course, I um, called in to share a uh, feast of Pentecost. Uh, you laid hands on my head. I suffered from migraine since, like, 12 years old. And um, I just wanted to say that I have not received a migraine ever since. Wow. <laughs> Hold on one second. Stop, stop, sister. Stop. We got to show out for the most high for a second, all right? Now, most people don't understand... You've had a headache before. Yeah. I've had a headache before. <laughs> but people don't understand what migraines are. Migraines they don't really yes. get that, that excruciating. Yes. They don't get That's a lot of that damn conflict. So let's go ahead and give praises to the Most High Y'all on that one. Uh -huh. According to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So you sure, sister, that we didn't, you sure we didn't use the herb of the field for the service of man to be able to stop your migraines? No, sir. It was all yeah. All yeah. Well, hold on, hold on, one more time. <laughs> She said, no, sir, it was all yeah. Huh? And I will 
give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Man, that what a wonderful testament. You know, most people, if they never, ever, ever have experienced migraines before, they won't understand what really, truly has happened. I'm happy for you, sister. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, it was an everyday thing. and Every day? Right away, it was just in the week. Yes, sir. It was almost like every day um, I would sleep with a, a heating blanket over my head because heat would help my migraine. And, yeah, I have not received one. I got to say something I'm to so you. I'm crazy. I got to say something to you. You hear me? Yes, sir. Healing is the children's bread. So, Hallelujah. since you've been having migraines all that time, isn't that like the people with leprosy go show yourself to the priest? Mm -hmm. And then the Most High Yah ends up healing you. You better, you better serve him in the beauty of holiness. You hear me, sister? Yes, sir, I do. Loud and clear. I know you will. Because you wouldn't be in straightway Clarksville if you didn't. You know what I mean? I'm just saying that yeah. to put emphasis on all the other people that are here or so-called allegedly spying on our liberty. But, man, what a beautiful testimony. Ain't y'all good? I mean, Jesus is just something else. What can you say? He literally is something else. Love him. Love him. Love him. Oh, his name ain't J Shut up. I don't want to yell. Anyway, whatever. All right, sister. Got anything else? Let's say shalom, shabbat shalom to Mother Carol, Sister Summer, and Mama Nelly. I love you guys. And bless you all. Shabbat shalom. All right. Shabbat shalom. Sister Carol, Sister Summer, and Mama Nelly. Shabbat shalom. Brother Cedric says, bless you, Pastor. For all you do. Thanks for being a man of integrity and leading by example. At least I try. Love that Israelite hat you were wearing earlier. Strength and honor. Yeah, I actually went by Lids when I was in Georgia. Where is it? And uh, they had a blank, blank hat there. And, I, and he said he had an embroidery there in the shop right there. And I said, man, put Israelite on that thing. You know what's crazy? Don't nobody ever ask me about that. <laughs> if I put bullshit on the cap, everybody would, what would you put that up there for? You, you say, you, you say it's real life, something like that. Nobody ever asked. Nobody says nothing. Amazing, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Help me, Father. But Israel as a whole, I cannot think each and every last one of you enough. I know that this ministry loved y'all because they sustain, they help sustain us by obedience to the Father. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, they truly give and they help me. Um, man, as a matter of fact, this, I'm going to end on this. Most of you are familiar with Sister Kraisha. Uh Kabir, Brother Kabir took Kraisha to... Um, eye specialist. You know, you see such Christ, she wears these thick glasses that look like the bottom of Mason jaws. And apparently she has had some serious glaucoma. And apparently glaucoma runs bad in the black community. Heavy duty. And what it is, there's a hell of a lot of pressure in the eyes. I want y'all to hear me. Matter of fact, if y'all hear me, type in the word hear me before I go forward. Before I go forward and end this broadcast tonight, type in the word, hear me. No, sister, if you got, you 36 years old, you've been in the face since 2009, you got dreadlocks, you are fine. Keep your locks. How about that? So anyway, Kraisha, on, on the sky, I don't understand all these numbers, right? The numbers was like, her eyes was like in the 40s. The doctor was surprised she wasn't, she wasn't blind. So Kabir, hear what the doctor had to say. Hear exactly what the doctor had to say. 
He goes back to the community, sits her down and starts grilling her, questioning her about a past relationship with her parents or father and everything else. Come to find out, here it is again, I want y'all to listen to this. Damn foul ass mama lied her ass off about her dad. You hearing this? And she received that. What a mama was saying. What a mama was saying. Received that. You received that. And because she received that offense, and one of the offenses was that her daddy was trying to poison her to kill her. She received that shit. She picks up the phone, calls her dad, come to find out that it was all lies and fabricated, so she's holding an offense. Ooh. You hear me? All these years, just literally almost destroyed her eyesight. From a offense. Don't the commandment says, yeah. go, go to Exodus chapter 20, get that one that says, honor your what? Your wow. father and your mother. Exodus chapter 20, I think verse 12, 13, 14. Get, you know, I want y'all to listen to me. People don't 12. think there's nothing to this. You're 12. People don't think there's nothing to it. They're out of their damn mind. Mind you, at this time, ain't nobody in the commandments. I keep trying to tell y'all, the commandments are universal. It makes no difference whether you're in them or not. The blessings and the curses, they, they apply. Read Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor. What? Your father. Mother first. Father. Woman first. Father. Sister first. Father. Sister wife first. Father. Father. And your mother. So what? That your days. May be what? May be long upon the land which Yahweh the Elohim gives you. So the scripture says, honor your father and mother that your Days may be prolonged upon the soil which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth you. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So she's holding this offense all this time against her father, her mother with a lying ass, lied on the father. She's offended this whole time. A spirit comes in, starts messing with her eyesight. Think about that for a second. We're giving y'all some spiritual warfare advice here. All because of the dishonor of the father. I'm going to say it again. All because of the dishonor of the father. I don't give a damn what demon, what spirit it was that damn fabricated the lie. You still received the lie. And mind you, she didn't know no better. What, what child wouldn't trust the mother? Because after all, the mother's a nurturer. Yes. You hear me? No, you hear me? Huh? It's crazy. I'm going to tell you what's going on in this Hebrew faith, right? You got me, Summer, and Hezekiah, right? And uh, believe me, Hezekiah will love his mother. Man, he loves his mother. But but she'll tell you, that little boy, man, he'll take his father. He, he, he loves his father. Come here, Summer. People need to hear this. And Summer... Bless her heart. She does a job. She always makes him excited about daddy's coming. Father's coming. She always makes him excited. Daddy's coming. Father's coming. Are you following me? Because that's a protection for him. Are you following me? Am I talking right? You are. His, his, his guy, he, he knows you as mother. He does. He, he loves mama. And then at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when he's finished running terrorism on everybody else in the family, he's only looking for mama. He's searching for mama because he want to be fed. He want to go to bed. Am I right? That's true. But boy, 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 when it's throughout the day, who's he looking for? You all day. Looking. <laughs> he's like your shadow. I could be set up here and um, we could be FaceTiming. He sees me. On his, on his, he has his camera in his face ever since he's been born, right? So he has a camera in his face. He, he sees me on FaceTime. He don't understand all this stuff. All he sees is daddy. First thing he does, <laughs> am I right? You want to get through that? What daddy? In other words, I don't get this. Tell where my daddy at? 
But when it comes time to go to sleep, nurture, mother, yeah. you see what I mean? He's looking for mom. But all throughout the day, he won't, that, I don't care what I'm, I could, I could leave the bedroom in there and come all the way in here. You could have Mother Carol, you got Nelly, you got something. He's going to find his way all the way back here to get, get to me. Am I right? He does. Every single time. He's going to find his way to get to his daddy. I just want you to come and confirm that because, you know, people think I be making up shit. Yes, Thank you, babe. So you check this out. So, she got it clear with her father. Kabir grilled the living hell out of her for what he learned in his ministry. Kabir laid hands on her. All that pressure and everything. They thought when she was coming back in, they thought it was like, man, this woman's eyes about this is over with. She was going to be blind and explode. The normal range, I forget what Kabir put in there, something between 20, 19, 21, somewhere along in there, right? She had one eye. Mind you, her pressure was way up on the chart, like in the 30s, late, I mean, 30, 39, and then the other one, 40, 42, 43. Kabir laid hands on her. She did all this repenting and stuff. I think she had a, like a left eye at 23, and her right eye within the normal range. That mark. Hmm. All because Kabir made her. Yeah. And, I, and when I say made her, I want y'all to get out of this damn American mindset. Yes. It's all about healing. It's the children's bread, meeting conditions of y'all. Yes. Go get it right with your father. Because yes. I mean, he's a man. He's been lied on. He's his he's, 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 he's own children. No telling what type of curses they're going to receive. Because that bitch ass of an ex-wife he got lied her ass off. Don't give a shit about the destruction she getting ready to set. She's already gonna set these children up for. By despising their father who loved them, provided for them, and cared for them. This her ass did not do. With a horse ass. Eileen by your bill a million. And then as the arrogance, the audacity, much she despises him, she won't even change her last name. Take on your damn common name, bitch. You sorry ass troll. You damn devil. All you do it, all you done is set up all those children, beautiful children that Kabir had, set them up for curses and failure. And because she, Kabir, Meticulous with the word, doing it right. Mm -hmm. Late got it right with the father. Laid hands on it. The Most High blessed her literally, literally blessed her in her sight. Who would ever equate that to the spirit realm? Mm -hmm. Who teacher? Mm -hmm. Who? Who? All praise to the Most High. Oh, yes. All praise to the Most High. Yeah. All praise to the Most High. Yeah. Thereby proving when he laid hands on her, here's again, y'all's anointed. Everybody don't have the gift of laying on of hands, because everybody is different gifts in the body. Yes. Leave y'all's anointed alone. We thank the Most High Yah through our blessed Messiah Yahshua Hamashiach Jesus the Christ. That your eyes have been healed, mm -hmm. and they are still being healed and recovering beautifully. Y'all's good. Man. Lines then coming up. Ah, man, I thought we weren't going to go the whole time. I think we messed up as we took phone calls, but it was good phone calls. Though. All good. It's all good. I want y'all to understand something. Straightway, we're not like these other ministries and people. We're not. I'm telling you, we are very serious. We are extremely serious about what we're doing. Everybody else may be playing games. We ain't. 
we're not only blessed because we preach it, but we're blessed because we live the message. So with that said, you got anything to teach? We bless y'all, sweet precious, strong, victorious, mighty, overcoming name. Soon coming king, y'all show them the shake. I want y'all to be encouraged, okay? See y'all tomorrow morning. Be the Father's will, and I believe it is his will. Shabbat Shalom, the king is coming. Lions Day, coming up immediately. Look at him looking.